Hi friends, it's Daniel from the Los Angeles Maritime Institute. A couple weeks ago, we learned about water, specifically the water cycle and watershed. Last week, we talked about how animals adapt to survive and thrive in their environments. This week, we're going to focus on the ocean, its zones, and the animals who make it their home. The ocean is huge and deep. The average depth of the ocean is about 12,000 100 feet. There are all sorts of creatures that live in the ocean, from the surface all the way down to the deepest depths. The deepest part of the ocean is called the Challenger Deep and is in the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean. When you go to the beach, you see water, right? Duh. You may see dolphins or sea stars, maybe a sea urchin. Do you think that those animals also live in the Mariana Trench? The deepest part of the ocean? If you answer no, then you're correct. Sea urchins and dolphins can't survive 12,000 feet underwater because the water conditions are not perfect for them. There would not be enough sunlight or nutrients down there for them to survive. Because the ocean is so big, with different animals and organisms living at different depths, scientists have broken the ocean into layers or zones. These zones extend from the surface to the most extreme depths where light can no longer penetrate. These deep zones are where some of the most bizarre and fascinating creatures in the sea can be found. Today, Jonah is going to take us on an adventure through the ocean zones. Humans can't swim through all these zones though, so Jonah in this adventure will be a sperm whale! Sperm whales are mammals, just like you and me. Which means, despite living in the ocean, Jonah is still going to have to come up to the surface to breathe. Most sperm whales can hold their breath for up to 90 minutes, or an hour and a half. Wow! Jonah just took a big gulp of air and said hello to the sunshine and is ready for adventure. When he's at the surface getting air... He is in the epipelagic zone, also called the sunlight zone, because the sun shines through into the water. The first zone is the epipelagic zone. Let's break that word down. Epi is a prefix meaning upon, similar to how your epidermis is the layer of skin that sits on top. The epipelagic zone is the layer at the top of the ocean. It's measured from the surface down to 650 feet and is where about 90% of all marine life exists because of the abundance of sunlight. Plankton can photosynthesize, meaning use the sunlight to make food, in the sunlight zone. Small fish will eat the plankton, and big fish will eat those small fish. Here we'll find dolphins, kelp, sperm whales, phytoplankton, sharks, humans, and plenty of fish. Down we go! The second layer is the mesopelagic or twilight zone. Meso means middle, as this zone is near the middle of the ocean. It extends from 650 feet down to 3,300 feet. Only 1% of sunlight reaches the twilight zone. So, animals here have adapted by having large eyes that are focused upward to see as much light as possible. They also tend to be camouflaged to have lighter bellies and darker tops. This way, a predator looking up from below might not see them as they blend in with the sun shining in the lighter waters above, and predators looking down might not see them against the shadowy depths below. This is called countershading and is done anywhere in the ocean that sunlight reaches. In addition to the countershading, some fish here have lanterns on their heads that help them see and hunt other fish. Here are some of Jonah's friends in the Twilight Zone. We've got crabs and cuttlefish, eels, octopus, pufferfish, shrimp, and giant squid. Humans can even visit the Twilight Zone, but only by diving. Most creatures here make daily vertical migrations, rising up to the sunlight zone to feed at night when they won't be seen by other predators, 
and back down to the twilight zone during the day. Jonah's destination is even deeper though, so once Jonah dives through the twilight zone and reaches 3,300 feet, he makes it to the bathypelagic zone, also called the midnight zone. Bathy means deep, though there are still much deeper parts of the ocean. The midnight zone extends from 3,300 feet all the way down to 13,000 feet. Wow! Did you know that's as tall as 10 Empire State Buildings? Like the name suggests, the midnight zone is dark as night, with no sunlight reaching this deep down in the ocean. Despite the absence of light, Jonah can still find some friends down here. Jonah might run into some anglerfish, squid, or jellyfish. He could even see some human friends, but they would have to be in a submarine. He might mistake his human friends in a submarine for another whale. Jonah is down in the midnight zone looking for food, and so are a lot of other bigger fish. For Jonah, those bigger fish, squids, and sharks or food. Nom. 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 There are some zones in the ocean that are even deeper than the bathypelagic zone that Jonah can't dive down to. The fourth zone, for example, is called the abyssopelagic zone, or the abyssal zone. Abyss comes from a Greek word that means bottomless. This layer goes from 13,000 feet down to 20,000 feet. There are only a few organisms adapted to survive in the abyssopelagic zone because of the freezing temperatures and incredible pressures. Animals capable of living at these depths include some species of squid, octopus, and deep-sea fish, like the blobfish. Some deep-sea creatures, like the deep-sea squid, have adapted to be bioluminescent, meaning their bodies give off light. This can be used to see, to communicate, or distract predators or prey. Other crustaceans living at these depths have adapted by becoming transparent and have evolved without eyes because they serve no purpose at these depths. Jonah wouldn't be able to visit friends down here at this depth, but he could send a postcard. The fifth and final layer is the Hadopelagic, or Hadal Zone. This zone was named after Hades, ruler of the underworld in Greek mythology. It goes from 20,000 feet all the way to the bottom, the deepest point being around 36,000 feet in the Mariana Trench near Japan. Around 400 known species live in this zone, including a rat tail fish and decapods. A lot of the Hadal Zone is still unexplored. There's so much we still don't know. Now that we've made it to the bottom of the ocean, Jonah needs to go back up to the surface to get air. Here is something to think about. Would you want to live in the sunlight zone, near the surface, or in the hadopelagic zone where no one would bother you? Thanks for coming and learning about ocean zones with me and Jonah. Now you can complete the online worksheets and activities that go along with this video.